The newly released footage from SpaceX showcases the final performance of Starship V2 and the old Pad 1 design, and it's nothing short of remarkable. So what does this milestone mean for the future? At the same time, SpaceX has just completed a Falcon 9 mission that achieved two major records, marking another step forward for the company's incredible launch cadence. Meanwhile, a newly discovered asteroid has just flown past Earth at an unusually close distance, despite being detected only a few days ago. Let's dive into all these exciting developments on today's episode of Great SpaceX. Compared to all previous missions, Flight 11 stands out as the most well-documented flight to date, with SpaceX releasing an unprecedented amount of post-flight footage. These new videos have given us insights that were not visible during the livestream, revealing both the challenges that remain and the undeniable progress that has been made. In earlier updates, SpaceX focused mainly on showcasing the landings of both the ship and Super Heavy. However, this time, the company has gone even further, releasing two additional videos highlighting the Starship liftoff and ship landing. Let us begin with the ship landing. The newly released footage shows a stable and clear view of Starship's descent. SpaceX noted that the video was captured by the recovery team stationed in the Indian Ocean. Interestingly, this new angle seems to come from a camera mounted on a buoy. You can notice a subtle wobble in the frame as the ship nears the surface, creating ripples that gently rock the buoy. The camera camera, positioned behind the vehicle, provides a full view of the ship's heat shield as it approaches the ocean. What truly matters, though, is the precision and control Starship demonstrated during this phase. Once again, SpaceX achieved an impressive controlled landing. As the company proudly stated, Starship successfully executed a landing flip, landing burn, and soft splashdown. The video perfectly illustrates this achievement. It begins at the moment when Starship ignites its engines for the landing burn. From the bottom-up camera angle, we can see the sea-level Raptor engines using their gimbal mechanisms to reorient the vehicle vertically, a maneuver known as the landing flip. The ship's aerodynamic flaps also assist in this precise reorientation. One of the most striking aspects of this sequence is its speed and timing. According to the livestream data, Starship initiated its landing burn at T plus 1 hour 5 minutes and 54 seconds, and by T plus 1 hour 6 minutes and 12 seconds, the engines had completed their work as the vehicle splashed down safely. The entire process took only 18 seconds, all within an altitude of less than one kilometer. Before the landing burn began, the ship was traveling at an astonishing 338 kilometers per hour. In that brief span of time and distance, SpaceX managed to decelerate the vehicle with extraordinary efficiency, demonstrating the power and precision of the Raptor engines. The success of the landing flip and landing burn not only reflects excellent control, but also remarkable accuracy. The ship splashed down at the intended location, confirming SpaceX's growing mastery of precision landing maneuvers. These capabilities will play an essential role as the company prepares for the next major milestone, returning Starship to Starbase for a catch using the Mechazilla arms. This upcoming method represents one of the most challenging engineering feats in the history of rocketry. Unlike ocean landings, catching a ship mid-air using the Mechazilla system will require an even higher degree of accuracy in navigation, deceleration, and timing. Starship must remain in perfect control while descending through the atmosphere and must enter the narrow gap between the two massive chopstick arms. The system will then carefully lower the vehicle in sync with the closing motion of the arms, requiring the engines to shut down with split-second precision. These intricate operations have already been practiced during previous Super Heavy landings, three of which have been successful so far. However, landing the ship will be an even greater challenge. The ship travels farther, re-enters from higher altitudes, and endures extreme conditions of heat and pressure during re-entry. In addition to perfecting landing procedures, SpaceX still needs to resolve lingering issues with the heat shield and fuel tanks that could affect future recovery missions. Nevertheless, after two consecutive flights showcasing successful landing flips, landing burns, and controlled descents, SpaceX can be confident that the foundational skills for Mechazilla-assisted landings are already in place. With each mission, the company moves closer to the bold goal of catching the ship, an attempt that Musk recently hinted could take place as soon as next spring. That milestone is not far away. Now, let's turn to the other major highlight, the newly released footage of Starship's liftoff. This video captures a powerful and awe-inspiring moment from beneath the OLM, showing the instant when all 33 Raptor 2 engines ignite to lift Starship off the pad. 
SpaceX's update also includes external shots of the vehicle soaring upward through the thick plumes of exhaust and flame. The raw power of this launch is staggering. The combined thrust from the engines reached over 7,000 tons, producing immense vibration, heat, and pressure. The launch mount itself bore the brunt of these forces, and yet it held firm. As SpaceX has emphasized, this was the final performance for both the Raptor 2 engines and the original Pad 1 design. The successful liftoff demonstrated the peak capabilities of these systems, while the new footage reinforces their reliability and strength. The OLM, along with Pad 1, performed flawlessly, supporting a clean lift with all engines firing as planned. Remarkably, no structural issues or damage have been reported from the pad following the launch. With this mission, the Raptor 2 era has officially reached its conclusion, paving the way for the next generation Raptor 3 engine. The new engines promise major improvements in efficiency, thrust, and reliability, which will fundamentally transform the way Starship operates. Likewise, Pad 1 will be upgraded with a new design to accommodate these enhanced systems and support even more ambitious missions in the future. The successes witnessed during both the launch and landing phases of Flight 11 mark a defining moment for SpaceX. They provide a strong foundation for the company's transition into the next phase of Starship's evolution. The transformation of both the vehicle and its ground infrastructure has been underway for some time, but after Flight 11, it's clear that a new era is about to begin. Are you ready to witness that future unfold? Let me know with a ready down in the comments below. Don't forget to stay tuned for what comes next in the incredible journey of Starship. But the excitement doesn't stop there because SpaceX isn't slowing down anytime soon. Let's shift gears to another remarkable chapter in their relentless streak of achievements, the Falcon 9. At 5.57 a.m. Eastern on October 16th, SpaceX lit up the skies once again, launching another Falcon 9 rocket from Cape Canaveral. This mission carried 28 Starlink satellites into orbit, continuing the expansion of the vast Starlink constellation. After a smooth payload deployment, Booster B-1095 made a picture-perfect landing on the drone ship just read the instructions, marking its third successful recovery and proving once more that SpaceX's precision and reliability are second to none. These maneuvers have now become routine for SpaceX with the company launching and landing rockets nearly every week. However, the highlight of this particular mission lies not just in its execution, but in the records it set. This launch officially marked the 130th Falcon 9 mission of 2025. This launch officially marked the 130th Falcon 9 mission of 2025. That number is extraordinary, representing a major milestone for SpaceX. To put it into perspective, completing 130 launches in just 10 and a half months means the company has been averaging more than one launch every three days. The scale and consistency of these operations are unparalleled in the history of spaceflight. The number 130 carries even more weight because it places SpaceX within reach of last year's record. In 2024, the company completed 132 Falcon 9 missions. That means SpaceX is now just two launches away from tying its previous record, and we are still only in mid-October. With more than two months left in the year, it seems almost certain that SpaceX will surpass its 2024 total before the end of October. At this pace, breaking the record in less than 10 months is not only possible, but inevitable. If you're following SpaceX's incredible cadence, you can sense that each launch brings the company closer to yet another milestone. Beyond that, this achievement means SpaceX is also getting closer to its larger goal for the year, more than 170 Falcon 9 missions in 2025. With only 40 launches remaining and roughly 10 weeks left, the math works perfectly in their favor. At their current launch rhythm, reaching 170 missions is entirely achievable. Do you think SpaceX will make it? Let me know with an F9 down in the comments if you believe they will reach that incredible target. But the launch record is not the only milestone worth celebrating. SpaceX has also reached a new record in rocket recoveries. In an official post accompanying the booster landing video, the company stated, Falcon 9 completes its 500th landing after lifting off from Pad 40 in Florida. This marks the 500th successful booster landing since the program began, a figure that highlights just how far reusable rocket technology has come. SpaceX has turned what was once thought impossible into a regular, almost routine operation. Very few organizations in the world have achieved even a fraction of that success. These recoveries are not just technical demonstrations. They are the foundation of SpaceX's cost-efficient business model. Each landing allows the company to reuse expensive 
hardware, drastically reducing launch costs while maintaining high reliability. The result is a launch system that is not only consistent but also sustainable, capable of scaling to meet global demand for satellite deployment, cargo resupply, and future crewed missions. At this point, SpaceX is not just competing with others, it's competing with itself. Year after year, the company sets new records only to break them again the following year. The question now is not whether they will reach new milestones, but how far they can go. What is the upper limit of SpaceX's potential? That question may take many more years to answer. And now as we close this chapter, let's turn our gaze from human innovation to cosmic wonder, with a story that reminds us just how alive our universe truly is. On October 15th at 4.09 a.m. Eastern, a newly discovered asteroid designated 2025 TP5 made a remarkably close pass by Earth. According to NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, it came within just 60,328 miles, or about 97,000 kilometers, of our planet. For perspective, that's only one quarter the distance between Earth and the Moon. The asteroid continued its path and was expected to pass near the Moon on October 16th at a distance approximately 74,616 miles, or 120,084 kilometers. 2025 TP5 measures around 16 meters in diameter, roughly the same size as the Chelyabinsk meteor, which exploded over Russia in 2013. What makes this asteroid particularly interesting is that it was only discovered two days before its closest approach on October 13th at 4.07 a.m. Eastern. Despite being near Earth's orbit since at least September of 1979, it went unnoticed until now. The discovery was made by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, at its facility atop Mauna Kea in Hawaii. ATLAS is a four-telescope early warning system developed by the University of Hawaii and funded by NASA. According to the project's website, its mission is to detect potentially hazardous asteroids that could pose a threat to Earth. In this case, 2025 TP5 was never classified as a danger, but its late detection highlights how unpredictable and dynamic our cosmic neighborhood can be. Astronomers have been cataloging near-Earth objects for decades, identifying and tracking thousands of asteroids that could intersect with our planet's orbit. Fortunately, current data shows no imminent threats. In fact, with today's advanced detection system, scientists now regularly identify several small asteroids that pass close to Earth every month. Some even skim the upper atmosphere at altitudes similar to that of the ISS as one did earlier this October. Still, the case of 2025 TP5 serves as a reminder of the importance of continuous monitoring and preparedness. The fact that an asteroid of this size approached so closely with only a few days warning demonstrates the need for even greater vigilance in the future. As humanity continues to expand beyond Earth, building more infrastructure in orbit and on other celestial bodies maintaining robust observation systems will become even more critical. As humanity continues to expand beyond Earth by building more infrastructure in orbit and on other celestial bodies, maintaining robust observation systems will become even more critical. Ultimately, both stories, the record-breaking Falcon 9 mission and the surprise visit of asteroid 2025 TP5 reflect the same truth. Space is vast, unpredictable, and full of challenges, but with each launch, each discovery, and each new piece of data, we are learning to navigate it more confidently than ever before. In any case, folks, this has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with yours truly on the latest milestones in SpaceX's journey. Thank you so much for watching, and always remember, curiosity, imagination, and inspiration will follow you so long as you keep looking up.